am back. I am a prolific user and hoarder of body creams and body lotions. I'm an addict. It's not a good thing. It's not a good look. It's a good thing for your skin. I have nice body skin, which, you know, there's not many things about my body I'm happy with, but I do like my body skin, and it's because I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm genuinely obsessed. So I thought I would take you through my current stash of body creams. I'm just going to lift up the basket. i tell you what I've got, what I love, what I'm using. Some of it's not used before, some of it's new, some of it's tried and trusted. I'm going to whack through them, just whatever there is, whatever there is, whatever there is. So, I'll just start here. This, I'm uh, about halfway through this. This is a CeraVe SA Soothing Cream. This is um, great for KP if you get bumpy upper arms, top of your legs. It's not really hydrating, um, but it is great. If you've heard about Ameliorate, it's very similar to Ameliorate, but I actually think it works better and it doesn't have the disgusting smell. I'm not a massive lover of CeraVe in general, but this body cream is fantastic. I use it about maybe once a fortnight because i use quite a few exfoliators but i add this into my routine we'll purchase over and over again um i have it's about it'll nearly be in an empty is this about three quarters of the way down one this is a beauty pie product it is a super dose of vitamin c luckily i have what i'm about to talk about i'm going to do a beauty pie wang on so this product i think it is I'm going to say it's about a tenner. Let's say it's about a tenner. It might be a bit more than that, 12 quid. You get 250ml of product in it. It is the Superdose Vitamin C Bio Vitamin Brightening Body Lotion with asorbic acid, glucosoride, um, brown seaweed. It's a serum type lotion. It is nice. It's very good. I enjoy it. Yet again, my issue with Beauty Pie is they're selling you it for about 12 quid, telling you it's worth about 30 I believe it to be identical to this. This is um, the Sanctuary Vitamin C Glow Boost Body Serum, a lightweight revitalising moisturiser to lock in hydration and radiance. To me, they're almost the same product. This one you get less, it's 150ml. Like for like, these probably, if you buy this on three for two, which I always do, they're about the same price, like for like, and they are about the same product. Good, same as this, same value for money. Not as expensive as they'll have you believe. Beauty pie strikes again. Anyway, do like it, would use it again, but I like this one, use this one all the time. Great, great, great. They're not ultra hydrating either of these, but they're very, very good for giving you a nice sheen, giving you good body glow. Um, I like body oils very much. I've got two of the same one here. In fact, I'm going to show you all the same ones. So this is the um, Nutra um, Nourishing Skin Oil Treatment. This one is very nearly finished. This is a full one. Um, it says scar, scratch, stretch marks, dry skin, formulated to nourish and help. Um, five omega rich oils, plant derived squalene. This is nice. It has a very spa-like um, smell and it is good. It is a hydrating body oil. I do like it. It works nice. However, it does not immediately absorb. You've got to be prepared to wait for this one to thoroughly absorb, but it does hydrate. If, however, you love a body oil, but you haven't got the time for them to be, you know, waiting for them to absorb, you want something that smells the most delicious, lovely smell in the world, in my stash, I have three here. That is because they were half price recently and this product is never, ever, ever half price. It is the Body Shop Thai Macro Lime Firming Oil. There is no better smell in the world. If they made it in a perfume, I would buy it over and over and over. I would lather my body in it over and over. Um, but as far as I am aware, they don't make a perfume. It smells like lime, but a warm, musky lime. D delicious the most beautiful beautiful smell you will smell super super hydrating absorbs almost instantly for a body oil love it beautiful on holiday great when you've got a tan now recently oh i'll just show you this because we've done one this is a full cerave sa in the stash waiting to be used uh recently bath and body works 
became available within the UK um, so I often watch other YouTubers and I think oh I really want to try that I want to try that I want to try the smells I love a scented body lotion I don't wear perfume very often so I like my body lotion to smell and then next in the UK started to sell bath and body wipe products so I bought some to try uh, the ones that I've used are these two um, so far these are the body lotion this one is called hello beautiful um they don't tell you on them what the smells are uh, this is sheer butter coconut oil and vitamin e um with white i got my glasses on so no chance of reading that this one anyway hello beautiful it's floral quite sweet gives holiday vibes um i must say i'm quite impressed with it because i've used about half a bottle of this but a little goes a long way it looks like I've only used a tiny bit out of this one, but I've done a full body moisturiser out of this one. So, impressed with how um, how much you get out of them. I've yet to find these two types particularly hydrating. They're nice, but they haven't wowed me with, oh my God, my skin feels so supple and lovely. This one is Into the Stars. Um, this one has got more of a orange touch smell. You'll find that almost all of my body lotions and body products with smells of of the citrus family i absolutely love lime is my favorite but i love orange and lemon as well that one's quite a warm orangey smelling one and then i've got two i haven't used either of these yet these are both um bath and body wipes but these are the body butters and um, body creams sorry so the others are lotions these are creams this is actually men's you know if there's such a thing as a, a man smell and a woman smell i don't like to believe that fresh it smells a bit like um davidoff cool water vibes do you remember that or blue water from the 90s you'll have to excuse my uh snuffing i'm um i'm actually I've, I'm, I've had covid i'm fine but um i've got a bit of a snotty nose it's called fresh water um i love that smell that to me is holidays in a different way to the the sweet and sickliness of holidays so i might take that on a holiday with me this one oh it's strong it's called into the night um it's i think it's got very avon style packaging you know i think it looks like it belongs to a full range in avon where you get like the, the perfume the body cream and a talc for like 7.99 <coughs> but um i'm gonna try it see if it um how it smells on the body it might not be quite as sickly as that but if it does smell like that on the body i might have to gift it to somebody else because i don't like that smell particularly very much um now i mentioned this on a video if anybody uh watched me previously i bought it recently in a cult beauty haul it is the way body cream in the scent melrose place now what it smells of oh my god it's identical it is absolutely identical do you recall the benefit when benefit used to have body care ranges they don't do them now they had two they had a bath range which was a bubble bath um and bath salts i think um and a butter and it was called bathina and then they had maybe baby which was a perfume a body lotion and a body cream this melrose but it's the same smell it is identical and i loved it so much I'm, I'm so happy um i've used this once as a little special treat to myself it was lovely it's a it's a cream but it's it instantly absorbs the smell lingers it's dear which i'm gutted about because i will have to buy it again delicious but i'm going to try and save it for special occasions but highly recommend if you remember that benefit smell oh god buy it buy it buy it try it now this is a bit of a duff i'm about yeah about halfway through it um i bought it because i thought it was going to be lovely and luscious um hawaiian tropic after sun body butter in lime cooler because i love lime smells i thought this was going to be a really fresh sort of holiday zingy lime it's really overpowering on the coconut front i will use it but it's it's not my favorite i'm not absolutely in love with coconut smelling things don't mind them but not my uh not my first choice um oh i've talked about this already i've got two of these in the stash 
this is that sanctuary vitamin c three for two that's why i've got two i've used one and one down absolutely fabulous cream not as hydrating as i said but it is it is really really good gives you a lovely glow beautiful on holidays um i have it here i've got two different um brands uh, sorry same brands but different flavors now this is a uh, similar to the bath and body works it's a brand that is very difficult to get in the uk i think there is one official stockist of it and it is not victoria health but it's somebody like victoria health it's a, a health brand um sells vitamins and stuff like that i can't remember all they are sorry and they sell it but they only have the very basic flavors and that is hemp now these I, i've got two i bought both of these from tk max um they had about five different flavors i bought all of them i've used the others I meant to say at the beginning i've lost all my body care empties i'd save them separate if anybody watches me for empties if anybody watches me at all i'm sure you don't but if you do i'd save my i save all my empties and i'd save my body care empties separately to do a specific video on body care and what i love and what works well and what doesn't and they've gone so i think my boyfriend's chucked it out thinking it's rubbish which understandable you know bag of empty stuff sitting on the floor in the spare room illa thought it was rubbish binned it so i can't do it but anyway i had three empties in there in there well actually i might have only had one because i think i've, I've shown one in a previous empty two in a previous empties what i found with the others is they are beautiful um products the moisture factor the hydration is brilliant but i wasn't too keen on the smells these i've got some sort of like tropical range i think tk max must have bought up the tropical range that one smells like mango the um flavor is tart and creamy um limited edition uh pomegranate and it just says pomegranate on here that does not smell of pomegranate it's got pomegranates and oranges on the thing but it smells like mangoes to me and then this one is goji orange lemonade now this one that is my bag oh beautiful um so i bought them they've got the stickers on 9.99 i think they're about you know about maybe about that in america i'm not sure but if you ever see them in tk max or you see them anywhere in the uk and you're into body care try them the, the moisturizing factors of them is fantastic really 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 like that product we'll buy these over and over again um i have here a half used aloe um soothing body gel um i don't even know why i have this I must have bought it maybe boyfriend had sunburn or something like that um but it's there it's all right um i have here uh three quarters used sicilian sunrise body lotion this is by and other stories the smell <sighs> so good um in my other videos i've talked about this um and other stories range there is a um a shower gel body wash I uh, don't use it as body wash, which we used as hand soap, which was nice. But the star of this shirt is there is a scrub, an exfoliator. Um, absolutely fantastic. Really thick sugar scrub or salt scrub. Um, smells gorgeous, but scrubs, but isn't harsh. But brilliant. Highly recommend. But that smells delicious. I have a three, maybe about a half used um, Love Beauty and Planet body lotion this is the um argan oil and lavender one um i find these quite nice they're very liquidy um lotiony very lotiony not buttery but for a lotion i think they they do take a bit to rub in they don't absorb straight away so if you like fast acting don't pick these nice but that you know they're all right i like a lavender scent for an evening um this is just my to hand stash as well by the way in my swim bag there's about three on the go there's still there's a couple in the bathroom these are just what is sort of in the thing beside my bed i have here a body lotion from um scottish fine soaps it is the number six invigorating <sighs> lemons so my uh, mother-in-law got me this for christmas she got me the whole 
range because she knows I absolutely love the smell of citrus. This one is lemongrass, rosemary and grapefruit. Lovely and refreshing. I've not actually used that. Can't comment on the um, efficiency of it. Um, I have one of my absolute little favourites. This is out of a gift set but I use this all the time. Oh, Satsuma Body Lotion from The Body Shop. Um, I absolutely love this Satsuma range. It smells delicious. I've got a half used um, bottle here of the Neutrogena Deep Moisture Body Oil, the Swiss Malmation. Again, this is nice. It's all right. It sprays out nice, but it's difficult to rub in. Again, if you want a fast acting, easily absorbed oil, go for, try this Body Shop one. Can't tell you how fabulous it is. It's so, so good. And then I have a little Clarins Hand and Nail Cream. Don't know what that's doing in there. I've got two Baby Spa uh, Body Butters. One is the Nourishing and one is the Smooth and Firm. They will have been in a gift set. I have um, hiding in here instead of in the bathroom. Don't know why, but I'm glad I found it because I'll put it in its rightful place. This is a Dove exfoliator i use loads of different exfoliators i just thought i'd only talk about the body creams today otherwise i'll be here for three days um but this is a good one i'll come on to body exfoliators another day and then i have in here also which um are my um used to be but the last time I used it, it didn't go down too well. My favourite gradual tan. So if I'm going to do a fake tan, I am terrible at applying fake tan. I mean, woeful, absolutely woeful. I can only do it with a gradual tan. And the one I used to love is this, Marks and Spencer's Autograph in um, medium to dark. But the last time I used it, it applied like a real tan, like an actual real tan. It, there was nothing gradual about it. And because I thought it was going to be gradual like it used to be, I've gone a bit slapdash with it. Patchy, awful on the ankles and a very orangey hue. So I don't know that we'll be trying that one again. I've just bought a new gradual fake tan that I'm going to use because we're coming into tan weather. And that is um, the U tan, which is the tan that I like the most. Um, but it's a... Uh, um, the fake tan sorry that I like the most I use the U-Tan spray water fake tan um, and it is an exfoliating gradual tan so it is a gradual tan with salicylic acid I believe um, and it's meant to sort of exfoliate your skin as it tans because that is one of my issues with using fake tan is I like to exfoliate a lot and it's difficult to do that because you're just scrubbing it off when you put it on. So I'm going to try that one and I will keep you posted. Anyway, that is just the current um, body butter, body oil, body moisturiser stash that I'm working my way through. You would think that that would last me forever, but because uh, I've got a big body, so it takes a lot to put it on there. But because I love it so much, I moisturise every single day. If I am... Um, flush with time and I ain't got much going on I might even do it twice I do it in the morning when I get up and then I do it on a night but usually um I shower on an evening when I get home from work and I put my body moisturizer on and then I um put my jammers on or I swim quite a lot in an evening and I will again I'll shower at the um gym after I've been swimming and then I don't put my body moisturizer on gym because I can't be asked I want to come home and get me tea um I just get dressed then I come home lather myself in the joy of something fragrant and then um put my jams on and doss because that's what i like doing more than anything anyway hope you enjoyed uh hearing about the body product stash i'll be working my way through it you'll see these in empty so any one of them that i haven't used before that i've got a decent opinion on you'll see it again anyway see ya